So this week, Meta just launched smart glasses with a built-in display and a wristband that lets you literally write on any surface. Apple's blocking iMessage in those glasses and Oakley's got a sport version. Alibaba is bringing their own AI glasses into the race and let's break it down. First up, the big one from Meta Connect, the Ray-Ban display glasses. They've added a full color display in one lens and paired it with something called the Neural Band. This wristband doesn't just do gesture control. You can actually write in the air or with your hand on any surface and it'll convert those motions into text. Imagine jotting down a quick note without even pulling out your phone. That's one of the coolest things I've seen in wearable tech in a long time. But of course, not everything went smoothly. During one demo, every device in the room triggered at once, crashing the system, and Meta admitted they basically DDoS themselves. It's a pretty cool technology, if not a bit fragile. To try these glasses, Meta's opening up pop-up shops in cities like Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and New York. Appointments are already booked through November, but here's the worst part. If you're in places like Cleveland or Pittsburgh and many other places throughout the Midwest, there's no demo site at all. You literally have to drive hundreds of miles just to test them out and buy them. So while it's exciting, the rollout feels a little exclusive and definitely not mainstream the way we were all hoping. Meta also partnered with Oakley on the Meta Vanguard, priced at $4.99. So here's what's different. It's got a built-in action camera for recording workouts and fast-paced sports. Rugged, sweat-resistant design is made for athletes. And it's also got fitness integrations, such as being able to sync with apps like Strava and Garmin. These are the things that Ray-Ban glasses currently can't do. It's not about the AR displays, it's about the durability and the fitness tracking. So Meta's not just aiming at fashion wearers, they want the athletes too. The most frustrating recent detail to come out is that Meta confirmed the display glasses are not gonna support iMessage. They're saying Apple won't allow it. That's not just a missing feature, that's like a platform war that's going on. If you're deep in Apple's ecosystem, this could be a huge deal breaker. On the generation one and two Ray-Ban glasses, you get announcements when you get a message and you can also reply and have them read out to you. Now, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the display glasses, but if you can't even get your normal text messages on them, it's gonna be a huge missed opportunity. And I think everybody on iOS is gonna wait until other manufacturers start bringing out different glasses. Quick rumor radar check. What about Samsung? Some people have speculated that they might drop smart glasses this week at their event, but most credible reports are saying not yet. We're more likely to see an XR headset on October 21st and true Galaxy glasses, maybe more in 2026. So don't expect a surprise announcement this week, but Samsung, they're definitely still in the race. Not all stories are about the hype. Ally Solos, built with Envision, are smart glasses made for people with low vision. They can read signs aloud, recognize objects, and describe surroundings in great detail turning everything that's around you into speech. It's a reminder that smart glasses can do more than just selfies and AR tricks. They can genuinely change people's lives. And on the research side, two projects stood out this week. The first is called Ego Trigger. It listens for audio cues, like someone saying your name, and only then activates the camera. That means no wasted power and a big boost in battery life. The second is Electrosight, which takes a smarter approach to eye tracking. Instead of strapping bulky sensors onto the frames of the glasses, it uses lighter components and better algorithms. The results, more accurate tracking without making the glasses heavy 
or awkward to wear. In other words, a step closer to the glasses that actually feel natural. And here's one you might not expect. Alibaba, they're entering the game with their Quark AI glasses. Powered by their in-house Quen AI models, features include real-time translation, navigation, and visual search. At first, they're only launching in China, but this shows the smart glasses race is global, not just Silicon Valley. So what do you think? Are the Meta Display glasses worth $7.99? Would the Oakley Vanguard fit your lifestyle better? Or are you guys waiting around more to see what Samsung and Alibaba bring to the table? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'll feature some next week. If this breakdown gave you a clearer view of what's happening in smart glasses, go ahead and hit like. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll be back next week with more smart glasses news and updates. Until then, keep your eyes on the future. Have a great week, everybody.